It's now time for Remember When with Uncle John. John Guess, Washita County's resident storyteller and local historian. Sit back now and enjoy a walk down memory lane as John recalls the days of yesteryear in his own unique way. You never know, some of it might even be true. So here's Uncle John, along with his trusty sidekick, Kelly Blair. Back on Remember When with Uncle John. Well, here we are, start of a brand new week. Still got our same great sponsors here for the Remember When with Uncle John show, including ProMed Ambulance Service. We got them at 1-800-634-0436, serving Randolph, Lawrence, Ashley Union, Dallas, and Calhoun County. Give those fine folks a call. Tell them Uncle John and Kelly sent you. Get signed up on their Priority Membership Ambulance Care Program. Because it's better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them. Without question. Also, Sherwin-Williams House Paint right over there at 315 Jefferson Street here in town. 836-8125 will get you all hooked up with Greg Bradshaw and his incredible staff. Can point you in the right direction for all your interior and exterior house painting needs. And we've got the printing guru, J.J. JJ Lindsay down at the Shopper's Guide. If you need some business cards, if you need some sort of stationery, some no trespassing signs, I don't care what it is. If it needs printing, you call J.J. down at the Shopper's Guide. He'll fix you up. Without question. And last but certainly not least, be sure to find us on our podcast. If you miss us first thing here in the morning, you can always catch us on our podcast, which you can hear on Apple Podcast. Uh, what else? Uh, Spotify, Heart, iHeartRadio, Google Podcast. You can find us on YouTube, and you can even find us on Facebook with Yes Radio Works. So what do you want to talk about here today on a Monday, John? I want to talk about this Rudy Poo candy Candy tail, <laughs> tail, twenty twenty three ice storm. There you go. Everybody's all up in the air about it. Let me tell you, I am an ice storm encyclopedia guru. The nineteen ninety four ice storm came in on Valentine's Day. I was working at Washita Electric. Been there about five years. Eight hundred broke poles. Wow, that's a lot. Eight hundred broke poles. That's a lot of toothpicks, man. We tore up trucks. We tore up yards. We tore up houses, and we got it all back on, and we got it all fixed. Uh, it came in in February, and we had my crawfish boil in first of April, and we had just got everything put back together. Had a had a colossal size drinking extravaganza to celebrate. Uh, 800 broke poles in 1994. And then you come to 2000. 2000 comes along. We had about a week of it. We got it all back on on Christmas Eve. Christmas afternoon, it came back again. Yep. And we had it all back out again. Got it back on on New Year's Eve. 2000 ice storm back to back i don't remember how many poles but everything was tore down everybody was out of electricity we shot shotgun shells we shot rifle shells we shot limbs out of trees we shot things till my shoulder couldn't shoot no more i shot a, literally a five gallon bucket of shotgun shells out in the out in the area wow we just dumped them out of the boxes and put them in five gallon buckets I had my old Remington 8 Master 870 Wingmaster shotgun, and we took turns shooting out there till my shoulder wasn't nothing but jello. So if you think you had a bad ice storm in 2023, it wasn't the worst. It was just the most recent. It was a Rudy Poo <laughs> candy jabroni ice storm compared to the big ones. It was bad enough, you know. My my, of course, I got a Generac at Red Hill now. She hummed and hummed and hummed and hummed, and I watched, you know, I watched Cops Reloaded, and I watched Good Morning America, and I watched the whole schmear on my TV. My heater worked. My hot water heater worked. Now you just bragging. Everything worked. I got some limbs down. I got to get cleaned up. But in case you're wondering, in case you're scared, the 2023 ice storm wasn't 
wasn't it wasn't a poot high. It doesn't even qualify, really. Don't right? even qualify. Not even an honorable mention. Don't even get honorable mention. It shouldn't even be talked about. Well, I wasn't here for the 94 when I was up north where they really had a lot of snow and ice uh, for a couple of times up in there. But <clears throat> you uh, you mentioned that 2000. I said, I, I, I remember that one. It could be, what I very distinctly remember is... You know, everybody was without power for like a week, or at least out in the boonies where I live, we were without power for over a week. And I came home one day, and all the street lights are on, and I got all excited. And the neighbor on the left of me had power, and the neighbor on the right of me had power. But not Kelly. And I still didn't have power. And I had been so patient. I had been so good. I had been so understanding up to that point. And yeah, then I kind of lost it. You know what they say, though, don't you? What's that? Everybody wants to be first, but somebody has to be last. Somebody has to be last. And I, I want to send a big shout out to uh, the, the Sean Dorflinger, the uh, the boss at Washita Electric. All his fantastic crews, uh, the right away crew, uh, Frankie Birchfield, Mr. Coon, uh, Alan Ferguson, and the line crews, Troy Carter, James Steed, uh, uh, the whole bunch of everybody from Fort Hampton, Brian Dunn, Eric McGee, uh, everybody, you know, Scooter, uh, Justin Horsecamp, Chad Davis, Fort Hampton, Derek, uh, everybody, uh, and all the people they had in here helping them. They had lots of help in here, and want to give them a big shout out. They again, they done an excellent job, and Washita Electric. When it goes out, they're on top of it. There you go, and we'll see you tomorrow, Kelly. Sounds good. You've been listening to Remember When with Uncle John on Y ninety five. This broadcast can be heard each weekday morning at six forty five on South Arkansas's favorite station Y ninety five.